Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 225, we're going to talk about the impact of hybrid and distributed work models on business continuity. This change, of course, has been driven or exasperated by what the world went through in the COVID-19 global pandemic, but really it just accelerated changes that were already going on. And in our minds, there are seven specific places where there has been change in how we should or, or, or should begin to think about business continuity. For us, it starts with technology and infrastructure readiness that the need for robust, high availability for IT infrastructure and secure technology solutions that let your team work remotely or in a distributed model, including cybersecurity measures that go along with that to help protect against increased risk of cyber attacks and data breaches. Part of this is understanding that as we've gone to remote and distributed work models, that we've gone away from this highly redundant, robust commercial networking environment, this commercial internet environment that you have at your corporate office or a corporate op- or a corporate facility to consumer grade internet from like, for example, for me, for Xfinity, if I'm working at home, I have commercial grade internet here at the office, of course, but that's changed the game, right? It's a less robust, less available, less redundant system than what you had before. Number two, communication and collaboration tools. You now have an emphasis on having effective digital communication tools and platforms to facilitate collaboration among your distributed teams. WebEx, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or other solutions like Google Meet or something else might be um, at your disposal now and may be a new dependency that you didn't have before. Number three is employee well-being and productivity. That focusing on maintaining employee well-being and productivity in this remote or distributed setting means thinking about things like work-life balance, mental health support, and ergonomic home office space, just as a few potential examples. Number four is changes to how we think about business continuity plans and the BIA, the business impact analysis. Updating your plans now needs to include scenarios that are more specific to remote and hybrid work environments, like contingency plans for widespread regional internet or power outages, disruptions to home working environments. For example, the exercises that we're doing with some of our clients today uh, are centered on this very issue. A tornado striking the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, for example, and taking out power and internet at home environments means business leaders have to think about, um, I still have an office I can go to, right? And if I do, how much capacity is there? Can I get the whole workforce in the corporate office if I have to be able to do that? Or is there something else that I need to do? Number five is crisis management adaptability. Your crisis management strategies now have to be adaptable and responsive to a different set of scenarios than they were before like the reliance or the unique challenges and dynamics rather of remote work settings. You also have new security issues to think about because you're dealing with how someone has configured their home internet router as opposed to your commercial grade firewall that you have at your corporate office. Number six is supply chain resilience. Strengthening supply chain resilience to address the new challenges posed by remote work at arrangements, including your reliance on digital tools and services. One issue to ponder is these challenges that you're being faced with are the same challenges that your vendor is also now being faced with. And in doing so, you need to be able to look a little deeper into that third-party risk management of your critical vendors. Last but not least is number seven, and that's regulatory compliance and data security. That ensuring compliance with data protection regulations and maintaining high standards of data security and privacy in this more distributed work environment is a new challenge for you as well. These are all themes that I think cause business continuity leaders, resilience leaders, and your corporate Uh, C-suite leaders to rethink and adapt your continuity strategies to ensure resilience in the face of this changing landscape that's brought about by this shift towards a more remote and more distributed work model for a lot of companies. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. 
Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.